always a distinct pleasure to, to read with you, uh, particularly when you spill beer all over the place. Um, but also, just that this is an incredible space. Um, sitting in back and, and hearing the reading, looking around, what, what a distinct honor and pleasure it is to be here. So thank you so much, and, and thank you for coming out. Um, I think I might just read one poem, possibly two. Um, the one poem is a long poem I've been working on for months. Um, I'm, I'm coming back to New York City from Las Vegas. I've been living out there for the past year, um, which explains why I might look as though I'm melting by the um, because of the humidity, which I'm not used to. Um, but so much of my work is, is grounded here. In fact, the second poem, if I do wind up reading it, is a poem that had much of, it, much of its impetus from uh, the New York Block Hostel, which had just opened um, when I was out here several years ago. So um, the city has always been such a, a dynamic force and, and such a welcoming uh, location for my work. So I'm always really thrilled to be back. Um, it feels like home. Um, one of the things, too, I'm noticing, uh, as I've been working on this poem, I think it's been about four months now, what winds up happening with the, with the long poem, and, and Jennifer, maybe at some point you can speak to this as well, and in terms of writing a book of fiction, a sustained work, um, you really begin to get the impression that, that there are few places in which an ending will present itself, right? That, that this is something that could very well be ongoing. And I very much feel this way about this particular piece. Um, it's a tremendous relief, right? It, it takes away a tremendous amount of the pressure of writing. Um, one, I, I can't speak, your work is so meticulous. This is incredibly messy. <laughs> um, and and I'm, I'm really thrilled about that messiness. And, and it's something that, that I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the poem earns. Five years out, Aida, your voice a lever, a silhouette of Tehran and white linen against the windows of the Time Warner building. Five years in, your light brushing against mine under a table overlooking the Navisank, Colleen sitting beside me, the two of us telling you, Sally and Danny, about crowding into the roof at the Emerald Inn during the worst of the Manhattan February. The crack of upholstery, the same pylon green of the Rikers Island pitch that saw Pele first arrive to the United States unpatched ever since. Joe glad to give away another afternoon between shows. Sean Marshall playing town hall the night before. Rufus Wainwright walking by as we waited outside for our passes. Were the gates still up in the park? Is that why we were so far out of town? A monkey's wedding sleeping free to a bed after Saki Bar Hage. Colleen between Joe and me, both conduit and angel. Or am I confusing the calendar again? Joe in town for the show a year after the gates of day trip into the city within a week of the rooftop of the Met opening for the first time in years. In any case, Joe is long since back in Benton Harbor. The Tigers off to another brilliant amateur start. The snow we are accustomed to on opening day in Detroit absent this year, and then suddenly return. Spring in the Midwest, perhaps the coolest thing after all. Or is he somewhere on the road with Georgia, Ira, and James, as much talked about Penrados for decades? More stars than there are in heaven to shorthand for their travels. Colleen is wherever Colleen has gone, and in my own way I am glad for our foolishness those many years ago, even now, even long after. The light in the emerald in today, ruddy as ever, the Reuben just as unwieldy, the Irish accents behind the bars perfectly unaffected. I am like so going to, you know, life. The joy of that life gone wobbly, come wonderful. The wash of the subway sounds wavering above ground, lay all just before and then after the dirtiest dirty water hot dog. Nights and weekends gleaming in the gloom. It is gloom, isn't it? Just the word of it, the name. Your voice, a place of origin, a cascade. Give us a line from Dryden. This even further along, in the voice coming apart into voices, the you use, and the you something other entirely. A line from Dryden, then, easy enough. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, Schlemiel, Schlemazel, Hassan, Pfeffer, Incorporated. Or did you mean Ken Dryden? Because Kenny was a brick wall in net, a stand-up guy off the ice. Could stop a puck with his teeth and often did and then would stand around with drinks for the same guys who were trying to take his head off. Bowman behind the bench, St. Louis merely a bridge to Montreal, a wild and unexpected breakthrough that came at the world from an unlikely direction. A mystique, catophile, enjou, la nierge, notre dame de vase, la chine, la salle, la plateau Montréal, le sud du soleil, visant sans Genevieve, Mercier, Ochlaga, Monsonnif, Matayon Mur, Ocremont, Pierre Fond, Oxbureau, Revier de Paris, Pontox Bramble, Rosemont, Le Petit Capri, Saint Laurent, Sapienau, Verdun, Vimory, Villeray, Saint Michel, Parc Extension. Concordia Salis, the suture we thread through songs from the room, the room revolving, the hallway, the hallway of the Hotel Chelsea, and ours, the typewriter's decade, the decade of song. Until the stave is emptied and the Verdun is a barcon, the breath is let go. Woodwind, timpani, the full orchestra sway. The boy in the cloud glad to be both beloved and troubadour. Dandelion and tiger, Robin Masters and Higgins, Rose and Crucifixion. In McSorley's it's always darker light, lighter dark, summer, fall, winter, spring, the bar heavy as a bison and as warm. The century-old thrill of banana clip kicked along the avenues in Alphabet City to the tune of the River Kwai March, Alec Guinness the Proof reading the wasteland, the magnetic tape pulled taut across the Jersey Shore, Highlands to Howell, Howell to Highlands. When we come to one another, we are the linen voices of cloud, the little boy and the little girl lost and found. We are the vision of the vision of paradise palms, the Toreador forgetting the sword. We are the applause that watermarks recognition, the absurd cheerfulness of the I don't want to talk about it response as the credits roll, or the playgoers stand, some calmly and contentedly, some with the violence of Sappho come to the cliff's edge and help one another into their coats before letting go the theater's fall. We are Steichen and wife Clara on their honeymoon like George in New York, the too fast winter hour at the Met and stood before the glass of it, startled utterly by our reflection there. We are the greeny gate of song for the tar paper roof of the thunderstorm, the mischievous joy that overtakes herby flowers, strolling through the double bass part for walk on the wild side, the icicle fluff at the center of the principle. We are an idiot wind, blowing from the Grand Coulee Dam to the Mardi Gras, the ugliest, cruelest thing you could ever think to say. We are none of these things alone. Throughout Columbus, circling into the park, we find the green revolution woven through spring's panegyric. Tehran's daughters gifted with perfect pitch, its son's golden tongue. This is the way of the world is Eden, and Eden comes undone. Muhammad at Hammersmith Palais, 1919. Morrissey at Foxwoods Resort, 28 March 2009. Garcia Lorca's Puentes at the fire grate, playing with the cataleptic smoke cooling in the harbor-facing room at the steamboat inn. You know, like totally that thing he just said, but like more of it. <laughs> According to Renato Pujoli, this union of artistic and political radicals lasted until the 1880s, when, quote, what might be called the divorce of the two avant-garde, end quote, took place. The severing of a wound-sharing twin quiver of arrows Arjuna refuses to shoot, then shoots one by one until they dissolve their singularity. A slippery, curly cue in which nut meat means nut meat, means sustenance, means excess, means forgiveness of our sins. Urthona, whose law is the plint of singularity, the lion and ox as one, exuberance, exuberance is beauty. The sun, a green jujube lying atop the viscid mosaic of the movie theater's floor. The sun, perhaps the greatest achievement of modern mural painting. Symmetrically structured, it occupied the enormous front space of Oslo University's assembly hall, dominating through size, unmitigated frontality, and power of imagery. Yet, the sun is the sun. The residence of image is studium, artition, castigation. 
So syllables take letters and transform them into unified sounds that organize themselves into words. Camera lucida in the year of the miracle. Jim Craig as Gabriel, Warwick Davis as Willow, Christ played by all six of the three students. <laughs> the slow dying of men's hearts that we call the progress of the world, the unfinished shooting script passed back and forth across the table between takes. Claude Rains' as exasperation, not merely the emblem of the resistance, but of a new modernity, a disguise perilously undisguised. The fog at the airport, more than cinematic sleight of hand to mask a plane that is not a plane, an airport that is just a soundstage in Southern California, become threshold onto the world of making, that terrible world we arrive to whenever we are alone with our desire. Barbara Streisand in boxing gloves in the shortest short shorts. The evening ruddy with Harvey Wallbangers, Mike Watt on bass. From that episode of The Love Boat to She Found Now But an Idol, the trace of which remains always just out of reach. What is the sound of morning dove makes? Can the bauble of our language contain it? Is it that that we crave? Donald, the exclamation point is you in a wetsuit in the show rose of the day. The record player's hurricane, the hurricane of voice that machine washes our epoch's overly long Oscar stage. You know, like when that one guy, like the one from that movie, said that thing that he said and it was like way too long, or like when football players always thank God whenever like anything happens that's good. Because when you wonder where I have gotten to, Monko, you know who go down to the tennis court where I too am lingering hopefully. The ocean's slow song, the song of morning, which follows us from Eden Rock to Saint Jean, which crumbles the wax paper after we have finished the Pope Monsieur and lifts it into the channels of air in which the birds only appear to revel. It is not the most beautiful thing that I have ever seen, although the music is an etude that we perhaps are almost able to play, each of us in turn, and then the turn stitched together in a phase pattern from Steve Wright, from desert music, or possibly from music for a large ensemble. The euphoric anticipation that led us to the first episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, long after we had given up on the operating room of Aftermath. Ted Danson in blackface, Whoopi Goldberg unashamed. It is comedy, after all. Becker, help me help you. Outside the window where Larry Eigner looks out onto Swampscott, the flowers are blooming, the buds producting. We have arrived at spring. Not again, for we have never left it. And to come again, despite the gentle imperative we so admire throughout the South, is something we can never do, despite our untamable longing. McSorley's is packed full. Gladly, we are not able to hear ourselves think. It is a wonderful noise. Even as we are elbowed, sometimes gently, oftentimes not, while we lean together against the bar. Your dress is of emerald linen. Even to describe it is somehow regal, though the rebellion it announces is so easily mistaken in this place, where it is still the English you are complaining. War is over, if you want it. And we do. So it is, in our hearts at least, and in others' hearts too, despite every act and every instance that shows the contrary. Eating bacon after weeping over babe, lingering <laughs> even for the slightest moment at the voice of G. Gordon Liddy while scanning AM radio channels, driving across Wyoming. Selling anything, buying anything, or processing anything as a career, wanting to sell anything bought or processed, or buying anything sold or processed, or processing anything sold, bought, or processed, or repairing anything sold, bought, or processed, you know, as a career. It is time we stop remembering John Wayne from The Shootist, Pondo, The Green Berets, and picture instead the final scene from The Quiet Man, Duke and Marine O'Hara, the sum of Cage's equation, love equals leaving space around love. Barry Fitzgerald dancing with the Sean Buck at the gates of Barry. Mary Lavin's happiness, the happiness of liberation. To this we must apply the same uncanny arithmetic that allows for the synchronized water skiing in the Go-Go's music video for Vacation, where the bicycle is the start of her and all a gramophone wants is to be properly played. It's true wonder only felt when everything's quiet, when we know what a gramophone wants is the silence of the dead. Don't catch it, the chicken yet. 
we need it for our midweek electromance. Scatter the green just so here and here. Tear the corner of the sap like this, and then bend the corner back. Yes, just like that. Now, slowly across the yard. Leave the hens for the cock, the chicks will follow soon enough. Those little pecks, each of them, one of the songs of the earth, a prophecy. These moments cannot be diminished, even under the threat of forgetting, when the mind unknots its hold on the world and betrays its innumerable identities, when the names for things become the things themselves, and the landscape all around us is suddenly unrecognizable. Thou hearest the 